how's it going hope you all enjoyed the videos of the trip that we did uh, i didn't really shoot too much footage but uh whatever i did i did post it it was a lot of fun uh had a great time as always it was kind of cold and raining but i guess it made the trip more memorable i guess in a different type of way but uh, anyways um back at the warehouse again as always and today i'm going to be working on the mini truck and be doing some maintenance i've been putting off for a while so let's talk about what i plan to do um i did get the transfer rebuild case rebuild the transfer rebuild kit as well as a clutch uh i did get some calipers for the front i didn't get rotors i got calipers but then i found out that you could put 60 calipers on the front and those are a little bit more powerful and then what came on the mini truck so i'm really thinking about doing that i'm going to retro not retrofit i'm going to put some old calipers we have that we have left over from a past uh, 60 project see if that fits with these wheels and make sure i don't have to use any spacers and uh, that should give me a little bit more stopping power uh today what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be completely rebuilding the rear drum brakes i got the drum shoes um drum rebuild kit all the springs uh, i did also get a hose a brake hose for the back i think you just need one and that's where is it at i think that's the parking brake i don't know it's back here somewhere but i'm gonna go ahead and replace that hose and uh, find out what might be leaking on that wheel uh, I don't think it's a caliper, but something's clearly leaking. It could be the axle seal. So, you know, um, I did get some seals for the diffs and pinion. Um, the front, the front, I'm going to wait on that because that's going to be like a, I'm going to have to completely uh, tear apart the front axle. The back, I just removed that case and it should be pretty straightforward. But I did get some stuff to rebuild the, uh, not rebuild but replace the gaskets for the front diff as well. So uh, that's about it for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on uh, rebuilding the rear drum brakes. So the rear brake rebuild is done. I just finished on the last drum brake. Um, there was some brake fluid on the inside, so I'm glad I kind of got this uh, done with new uh, cylinders and shoes and everything. On the back side of this part, there was a lot of buildup, so I think that might have been leaking. Um, but yeah, it's all done, all put together. It wasn't too bad of a job. And uh, meanwhile, Jack's been uh, doing some reconstruction surgery on the uh, on the 60. We haven't talked about the 60 in a while, but as you can see here, it's a little bit some parts missing. Uh, I think there's a lot of bondo that when he first bought this, he just kind of filled in with bondo, as you can see here. And now, uh, one part like this area is pretty bad and that's where our body mount goes so that's the reason for chopping up all this uh i guess swiss cheese and reinforcing it properly uh which he should have done in the beginning but i guess he bought this for parts yeah, that's the parts truck and it's turning into a pretty much a frame off but yeah this is getting some some work done some much needed work uh, there's still other things that we're patching up on this. Uh, we did cut some of the fender off because it was damaged. And uh, then just closing it up. I think along this window seal, we're also going to be fixing this. There's just a lot of Bondo glass. And uh, yeah, that's about it. The 80, the 80. Um, oh, it's outside, you can't really see it. But the 80 did have some minor trail rash um, when uh, on our trip 
I'm not sure you'll be able to see it, but uh, it was on the fender, which Jack was um, already thinking about removing them. So now it's kind of what Jack calls the poverty package, uh, which does not come with fenders. So, yeah, it's really dark. You can't really see. But, yeah, the fenders have been removed on the uh, 80. And um, we're just going to plug up the holes where the fender mounted. And uh, I'm not sure what else. I think we might paint it because without the fenders... It was clearly painted at one point, so there's a two-tone right here, so it kind of still looks like it has fenders, but you can't really see in the video. But anyways, yeah, uh, that's what we're up to. Uh, I think we're going to go planning to go to Barnwell again, maybe next month. So Jack's trying to get the 60 running because he really wants to take that off-road. And uh, I'm just taking care of some brake issues, or not issues, just I guess preventative maintenance on the mini truck. And uh, I also... I did buy some calipers for the front, but I just bought stock uh, standard uh, Toyota pickup calipers. But I have heard that you can fit some FJ60 calipers uh, on the mini truck. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that because that would tremendously improve uh, braking power, which the truck, uh, I guess with the big tires, the tent and all the weight, it, it needs a little bit more braking power. Uh, it'd feel more comfortable, especially like on the highways. Uh, people just start stopping all of a sudden but um yeah so that's what we're up to now um that's probably gonna be it for today to be honest uh gonna go ahead and put this drum back on the wheel go ahead and bleed the brakes go test them out and hopefully they hopefully it feels better uh i don't i don't really think so because it's just the rear drums but we'll see so here's a quick little update on the reconstruction on the rear end of the Jax 60. so i don't remember quite where we left off it's been a while um when i shot the first video when we we're doing the reconstruction on the rear end but uh i think we had cut everything out and now this is where we're at you can see we got some more plate welded in place um there's a little bit thicker plate this is like quarter inch um there and as well as here Cause that's where we're really going to need the support because that's where the body mount goes you can see the bolt for that and this piece goes all along let me see yeah it goes all along this is I'm stuck here this one piece is a solid piece it goes all along to the other side and you can see that there and then it's similar setup um trying to handle my phone and the camera at the same time but the similar box setup where the other body mount goes so there's still a lot of work that needs to be done but you know it's, it's coming along and I'm in like super tight quarters I was trying to squeeze in between there but um yeah so that's where we're at on the 60 uh, there's still a lot that needs to be done interior windows this needs to be, Jack wants to redo this. Um, since this has the NV45 transmission in it now, the drive shaft needs to be, I believe it needs to be a little bit shorter. So the existing drive shaft needs to be trimmed up a little bit. Um, but yeah, um, we're really trying to get this ready because we're gonna go to Barnwell again. Uh, not this weekend, but next weekend, Valentine's weekend. Uh, we're gonna go to Barnwell. A few of our buddies have not been out there, so we're going to go out there and spend Valentine's Day off-roading and camping. Um, uh, let's see. I'm just trying to update you with everything. The mini truck, uh, last I shot was we did the rear brakes. We redid the rear drums, got a whole new drum kit, drum rebuild kit. Um, the cylinders were definitely leaking, so I'm glad we did that. Uh, there was a spring that was broken, and the um, the pads, the, the shoes, they were, I don't know, they weren't new, they weren't, they didn't need to be immediately replaced. They still had a little bit of life in them, but everything's brand new. Drums, shoes, springs, cylinders, all that's good. We rebled the brakes, and oh my, I, I don't know why we didn't check this when I got the truck. We checked all the other fluids, but we did not bleed the brakes. 
So I'm sure the braking has improved a little bit because of the new um, rear um, rebuild, but it is like, I don't even know how to say it. it's 300 times better than what it was. It was super squishy and I really had to push on the brakes. Now, as soon as you tap on the brakes just the slightest bit, it's super firm and it's super responsive. I don't know why I didn't, wait. I didn't wait that long. So next time I buy an old shit shit box Toyota, check all the fluids, obviously, but bleed the brakes and probably bleed the clutch as well. Uh, if if it doesn't have to be replaced, anyways. But uh, or I mean, like that's one of the steps I would do is, is bleed everything, change the fluids, and then obviously things do need to be changed. Uh, I do still plan to change the front uh, calipers. I have those already. I bought some new. It's probably ridiculous and doesn't do anything but i bought some new rotors and they're they're solid i was hoping they're gonna be vented but i think the vented ones are too thick for the calipers on uh, my year of um, pickup but they are cross drilled and slotted i don't know if that's gonna help at all but anyways i went all out and did that they're pretty affordable i was gonna upgrade so you can so um I guess the first gen pickup, the 81 to 83, uh, mine's an 82, you can upgrade to an 88, I'm pretty sure there's a, a year range, but I know the 88 pickup V6, 4x4 front calipers and rotors, you can upgrade those and then they'll fit on my truck. Uh, you might have to do some trimming of the brake shield and whatnot, but they should bolt right up. Those calipers are a little bit bigger and they're also vented. Something that my truck is not solid. So I was gonna do that, but I already had the calipers. And I thought, well, you know, let me just uh, link the rotors. I went all on the rotors, they're 35 bucks each. The non, the like the standard rotors that are not cross drilled and slotted or whatever, I think we're like 18, so. Uh, we'll see how it feels, but the braking, after we bled the, the truck, it feels so much better that I didn't think I needed that bigger caliper for that extra braking power. So I'm going to put on new calipers, new hoses, and the new rotor uh, at another time because I have to take off the hub and I already plan to rebuild the front axle. So that's just one thing that I might as well do at that time instead of, you know, taking apart things, putting it back together, do it all at once, knock it all out. So that's the plan for now. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to be doing any more mechanical work before the trip. I am, however, going to try to paint the bed of the truck uh, this weekend, so hopefully I'll get that done. But then after the trip, there's a lot to be done, and we'll keep you all updated, as well as a lot of work to be done on the 60, because Jack wants to uh, take that off-road again. And the 80 is kind of more of a daily. Uh, this is more, uh, the 60 is more of an off-roader, as the mini truck is for me. So there'll be a lot more work on the 60, a lot more work on the mini truck, and uh yeah that's gonna be it for this video so hope y'all enjoyed and check y'all later